Welcome back to Joe's Garage. This is episode three of the tail rotor to fan conversion. Last week when we left you, we had just finished painting the tail rotors, the blades, and I, in the meantime, have wet sanded them and given them a shot of clear coat, and they're hanging to dry, and they're all ready for final installation. And today, we're gonna work on the yoke assembly, and we're gonna get it ready for mounting on the fan. So last week, you might remember we did some grinding on the, the yoke assembly here, and we, we left it, there were some nubs here where those, those three the bolt pieces were. We ground those off with the grinder, but it left a pretty serious lump here. I worked on them off camera, um, used the uh, grinder, I used the, the, the stationary grinder, I used the belt sander, um, and it was basically about an hour on each one on the belt sander with me balancing it and then sort of grinding this down and getting it nice and smooth and flush. And you can see that you really can't tell they were ever there at this point. I'm, I was very happy with the way they came out. I don't have any real metal working tools. So using my woodworking tools to work on metal is always a little bit of a challenge. But, but in this particular case, I'm super pleased with the way it came out. Then after I did that, I found uh, this piece of wood in my scrap pile. It, it was a um, cutoff from a um, fireplace mantle at some point. And so I knocked a chunk of it out. It had a big crack in it, you can see here. But I knocked a chunk of it out on the saw and then I turned it on the, on the lathe and then took it apart and put it back together and cut some pieces out of it and basically made it look like this. Um, and then drilled some holes, and these actually mount to the fan motor. So I have that, the mounting mechanism worked out, and then this is gonna fit right down inside here, just like that. So when we get all done, it'll be just like that, and then this piece will go over the top of it with some big bolts to bolt the whole thing together. I think I'll probably fill this full of glue um, to hold it in there nice and steady. This is actually upside down, so when it mounts on the fan blade, it'll be like that. And then this was a decorative piece that actually came with the fan motor that I probably, I'll probably paint and, and mount just like it is. So one of the things that I'd like to do, I mentioned these, these nuts that I got from England last time, the stainless steel M12 150s, but they don't have any, uh, any cuts in them. And what actually came on the tail rotor originally were castellated nuts. And you can see here, they have uh, slots cut in them and that's where the cutter pins go. And then it goes through a, a hole in the bolt that goes in the center. And they're called castellated nuts because they look like a the top of a little castle. So in order to, to re keep the same look of the tail rotor once it's done, I need to manufacture two of these. I could use these, but they're, they're dirty and they're just not very attractive. This is gonna go in my house eventually. So my plan is to take this and turn it into this using, for the most part, woodworking tools. So we'll see how that goes. Here we are at the drill press. I've already punched this to give the drill bit a place to bite. And we're gonna get this started and uh, drill a hole in it. So here we are getting started. Give a little dab of oil. Hold it there with the pliers. Kick the drill press on. So I finished drilling all six sides. I put a hole in each side. We're at 330 seconds is the drill bit I used. I got six holes, one on each side all the way around. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a grinding tool and I'm gonna cut a slot in the top of it here and then we'll cut a slot on the other side and we'll do that for the other sides as well and, and uh, we're going for this castellated nut is what we're going for when we get done. So let's give it a shot and see how it turns out. Here we are after the first cut. You can see that the, the grinder did a great job on it. It cut right through it, it was, was, went way easier than I expected. So 
Um, it needs a little cleaning up on the side here. And um, on this end, I'll straighten it out a little bit, but I think we're in business. So let me cut the other ones and we'll see how, uh, how good of a job I can do making my own castellated nuts. So here we are <clears throat> after the, the grinding. It actually came out pretty well. I wasn't sure how it was gonna go. I've obviously never done this before, but I was shooting for this and this is what I got. So actually pretty pleased with the way it came out. So it needs a little uh, touch up with the file and maybe a little cleanup, but I think it's gonna be perfect for what we're trying to make. So I did uh, mess up the threads a little bit. You know, they have a little, a few burrs on the inside and stuff. So well, I don't have a, a tap and die set with this, with this size. So we'll just use a little bit of oil here and we'll use the, the bolt to put the threads back in it. Fix the threads up, so hopefully they're not too messed up. So they don't feel too bad, actually. Feels like it's going on pretty good. So we're making good progress here. It's not. And I haven't really had to push on it too hard either, which has been nice. I didn't. I didn't want to. Didn't want to ruin it. But it's a weird size, so it looks like we're going to be good here. Really good. Nice. Yeah. Look at that. Sweet. It's a little. It's a little oily, and it's got a few sticky spots in it, but. But it's good. Yeah. So we'll take it out and clean it up. I think we're gonna be good to go. I can get this is the hole in the in the bolt here, this level. I can get down below the bolt hole so I can get a cotter pin in it. So that's really all we need to be able to do. Once I get it mounted in the yoke, we'll uh, we'll stick it in and we'll get the counter pin mounted and we'll be it'll be good to go. So I think that's gonna be the the next step here. We'll get the get the yoke assembly glued into my into my uh, holder here for the fan. So I got a little bit of uh, glue left in this tube. I'm just gonna squirt a bunch in the bottom of it. Just use the tube up. Looks like it's it for this tube. All right, so we're ready to go. So the plan is, Hopefully that'll be it. Let's stick this on the top. Got my bolts in here. Line it up and make sure I can line it up and make sure I can get it on the fan, on the fan motor when it comes time. So there's one. Two. Whoops. Two. Three. Oh, come on. And four. All right, so we'll set something on this. We'll let it, we'll let it harden. Probably take a couple days as much glue as I put in it. How about that? We'll let it sit like that. Let it get hardened. Let it get hard. And then we'll mount it on the fan when, uh, when it gets dry. So. That'll be next week, I guess. We'll see y'all later.